Welcome back to the Relius Reviews. Today's video is focused on Netflix's original series, Who Killed Sarah? Season 2. And this season, we continue to explore the death of Sarah as Alex tries to figure out who is responsible for the death of Sarah, while also trying to figure out who was the mysterious skull by the end of season one as it is a ticking time for Alex as he has to figure out figure out these two things or he goes back to prison. This season was pretty good in my honest opinion. It definitely did have a good feeling just like season one and this season definitely did bring out a lot of surprises, a lot of crazy and shocking moments to say the least. What I enjoyed about this season was the fact that many of the characters were back just like last season as we got to see new perspectives of Sarah's death, new scenes, new different flashbacks that wasn't there before of Sarah and this mysterious skull and everything and how it all played out with this season. I would say in my opinion season two was a little bit more crazier than season one and I just felt that this was just a whole crazy season. The main characters that I liked this season was Alex, Elisa, Kemma, and that was pretty much about it. Like the Lacrosse family itself, they're not really bad. Some of them are pretty scummy, like freaking Mariana. She ain't right. Caesar himself, he's not as bad as Mariana, but some of the main characters were pretty good. Now, the story itself, I think the story was pretty good as it continued on with season one's ending and opened up the new doors. As we found out, Sarah was not exactly so innocent, to say the least, as Sarah was somewhat of a scumbag. She was a horrible person, in my opinion, with some of the things that she did and that she was responsible for. It was crazy to say the least. Like at first when the season kept going forward, I was thinking that the person who did it might have been justified to say the least because Sarah definitely did piss off a lot of people with what she was doing. She definitely did anger a lot of people. But as the season kept going forward, we was looking at the wrong people. As does it answer the question as to who killed Sarah? Yes, at first, <laughs> at first, I thought that the person responsible was responsible, but with how it ended the season two ending, it opens up the door for season three and the person that was responsible for um, Sarah's death. I was really surprised, but at the same time, I was starting to suspect this person due to how this person was acting due to the many flashbacks of this season with this person it just somewhat made sense to me like this person might have done something because of what sarah discovered and everything and out of all i don't think this show needs a season three season three wouldn't be so bad but at the same time i would be worried to the point where if they still kept make if they started to make more seasons of this show it will start to drag on like it will really start to drag on to be honest and with how it ended i'm not disappointed to say the least but if this doesn't come back for a season three then oh well as alex got his justice and the lacrosse family they're all freaking crazy in many aspects Kama. I don't know what's going to happen to him, but hopefully his situation gets better. But out of all, this season was pretty good. I would say the things that I probably did not like about this season would probably have to be maybe the slow points. Like some of the scenes in this season was a little bit slow or it took a little bit for things to like pop off. But how I would give Who Killed Sarah season two out of five stars. To me, season two of Who Killed Sarah is three and a half stars out of five. And that is pretty much the end of my review. Thank you for watching.
please like and subscribe and comment. And until next time, goodbye.